Okay, the first thing you'll need to do is to power up the machine. There's the power switch. We'll get the blue LED light, uh, and the computer will go through its warm-up sequence as computers do. The screen should come on automatically, but if the screen doesn't come on off automatically, then look in the bottom corner. There is a little switch here on off. Just press it, and you should get a little green light, and it should come on for you. To launch the software, double click on the video editing icon and then it will launch the software. I'm not going to do that at the moment because I've already launched it. Once the software opens, we'll get two windows. You'll get the background one will appear and then this one will appear and the live feed appears in here. You may get an error message uh, like we saw earlier today, in which case just press OK to get rid of it. If you lose the live feed from here, then normally you can get it back by clicking and closing this particular window. Okay, so we got rid of it. And then if you press F5, it will bring the window back. And when the window comes back, it will normally recover the live feed if it's lost it. So that should work for you fine. Um, if that doesn't work, then the more drastic version is try it a couple of times and you can shut down the entire package and then reopen the entire package. But normally, just shutting down this little preview window and then pressing F5 to bring it back, refresh it, will recover the live feed for you. And you can listen on the headphones to what's going on in the room next door. There you go.